Bonjour, euh, bienvenue, unité du, qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? Qu'est-ce que que tu aimes faire? What is it that you like to do? This is the question word. What is it? And in this instance, this stands for that. You like to do. Now you may remember that to is the informal way and singular way of saying you when you are addressing someone. So this is how you ask somebody in French what they like to do. Now, we have two different types of verbs going on in this particular phrase. Well, three actually, but we're going to work on these. So, um is a conjugated verb. You will only ever see ES with two. And this is a conjugated ER verb. This will all make sense in a little while. Um, and this is conjugated. This means that I can use this with anything. I like to do this, you like to do this, blah, blah, blah. But on the next verb, you see to in front of it. And anytime you have to on the front of a verb, it means it's an infinitive or unconjugated. So to do, to shop, to camp, to hike, uh, to enjoy a beautiful day. These are infinitives. But I like, he likes, she likes, we like, y'all like. The like is conjugated, which means it's been taken out of its infinitive form, the to has been dropped, and it's been altered to be able to be used with pronouns. So what are the pronouns in French? Well, just like in English, a pronoun replaces a person's name. So if I were talking about myself, instead of saying Miss Wall, I would say I. Um, so in French, the way to say I is je, but in French, you do not capitalize the J. So it is a lowercase j. Je. And you may remember this from je m'appelle uh, in last lesson when we were saying my, I call myself. Two. Informal you. Il. He. Elle. She. En. One. The French don't use it. They use en. It does not have any gender, which means it's, it's, um, it's not masculine or feminine. It's completely neutral. And in French, everything has gender. So we'll go over that in a second. Then you have nous, which is we. Vous, which is you or y'all, formal or plural. And then just like in English, anytime you make something plural, you add an S. So the plural way to say he and he, like if it's a whole bunch of guys, you would say they. So the way to say that, add an S. Same thing here, elle, but you don't pronounce the S. And then you can't make one plural. That doesn't work. So one is only on that side. Now, this is a chart that you will be using throughout your study of French and any other language that you ever do study. Um, Believe it or not, you actually learned this when you were really little. You just don't remember it. Um, so here is your chart. Not a very good one. Um, and the reason that it is set up like this, this is one of those charts that actually makes sense. So it's, it's pretty easy. Everything over here, you're only dealing with one person. So it is singular. Everything over here, since it ends in S, it's plural. Okay? And then you just get to count. And if you can count to three, then you set this chart up. I'm pretty sure you can do it. So, this is first person, second person, and third person. And if you ever hear somebody saying, oh, she talks about herself in the third person, that would be like me saying she likes to uh, go camping, she likes to be outside. 
That doesn't make sense. I would say I, if I were speaking of myself, I would speak in the first person. It's very, very simple to remember this because first person is I, which looks like an I, so that works. Second person is to, how convenient is that? And then third person, il, el, or on. So you have first person, I, second person, you, third person, he, fourth, uh, third person, she, and third person, on. Now this is all singular. If we put it over here on the plural side, we. And you can think of this as uh, we like to um, read the news or watch the news. So, uh, nous sommes regarder uh, the news. So then you have vous, and this is plural for you or y'all. So, and, you, and it almost looks like this. If you look at it really closely, you can kind of imagine if you put this right there, then that looks like you formal, and then it's also plural, so that helps out tremendously. And in uh, the South, we get this wonderful word, y'all, and so you will often hear me say vu as y'all when I'm translating. And then il, which is guys, plural, and l, which is a group of girls, plural. But what if it's a group of girls and guys? Well, it's pretty easy. This can only deal with girls. L is only dealing with girls, so this is always feminine. Eels can be a group of guys or a group of guys and girls. So even if it's a, a, a room full of a hundred girls and one guy walks in there, then it's suddenly eels. Okay? And girls, you know, if you have a whole room of girls and one guy walks in, the whole room changes. Right? So it's going to change. It's, it goes back to eel. Alright? This chart must always be set up like this. You cannot change it if you run out of paper or, oh, I'm just going to put this one over here because I ran out of paper or, oh, I like it looking all linear. No, you have to set your chart up like this always. And it will be this way no matter what language you study. So get a good look at it. This is the chart that you need. Je, I'll get a marker that works too. Je, tu, il, Elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle. Subject pronoun. 